Hello. Today, I'm very excited to introduce Banu Pratap Singh, who is the co-founder and CTO at ShareChat. ShareChat is India's largest regional social media platform with about 60 million monthly active users spread across 15 languages. Welcome, Banu. Before we move on to know more about ShareChat, I'd love to know more about you. Could you tell the audience one fun fact about yourself, Banu? Uh, hi, Karan. Thanks a lot for uh, you know organizing this. I actually uh, learned coding at 11 years of age, right when I was in sixth standard, I guess. Eventually, I, I ended up in IIT Kanpur, and there in the first semester, you again study introduction to computer programming. Right at that point of time, I studied it again, and this time I actually saw the beauty of it. And just after two years of studying it, we were like, uh, let's build something. We were itchy enough to, you know apply that knowledge onto a real world problem. Sure, Banu. This is, this is surely there's a fun element to it, but it's also very cool, you know, starting to code at 11, unprecedented. Really, congratulations about that. Um, I want to start with, with the wonderful organization that you've built. Can you share with us uh, ShareChat's vision and what role does technology play in enabling it, Banu? We had seen that with the launch of smartphone in, smartphone in India, a lot of new internet users had come up on to the internet. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, these new internet users, they did not know English. And when we looked at the options available for them to access content and information, uh, that was all in English. So uh, they really did not find anything to do on the internet. And that is the reason why for a long period of time, most of them were just using WhatsApp and nothing else, because that, that is a utility uh, that requires no language. Right. But when it comes to accessing content and information, uh, language plays a good amount of role there. So we figured out that there is a dearth of Indian language content on the internet, information as well. So let's try to build a platform where people can find content in their own language and also, you know, meet people in their own in their own language and try to connect with them. So this is how ShareChat started. It started with a simple social network where people can create content in a certain language. You tell which language the content is, and then we distribute that content to all all the users on the ShareChat who understand the same language. Great. Now, I know that ShareChat is, was born in the cloud. What really got you started with Google Cloud? And can you just take us through that journey, please? OK, so uh, we were already there on the cloud. And we had good enough amount of users. Right, uh, Scale was already big, which means that we already had learned how to scale systems. right? But uh, it was not all. And hmm. I, I think uh, two years back, uh, I met uh, someone from Google, right? And that was uh, my first, you know, connection with Google. And over over time, it grew, and I met more people, and I got a lot of, you know, help and information from from every one of them, right? So yeah. during these conversations, I actually uh, discovered a lot of good stuff about uh, the technology behind uh, Google Cloud, right? So there were a lot of papers out there which you can read, Big Table Spanner, all these papers, right? And uh, when I read these papers, I understood uh, the amount of you know effort it goes into making a really good piece of technology, right? And it yeah. seemed to me that Google is able to do that continuously, right? Almost every domain you see, there would be a product that is made by Google in order to assist all the coders out there, right? All the libraries that you have in the internet world. Uh, if you could just double click on some of the areas that you've clearly seen impacted as a result of your partnership with Google Cloud, you know, from a outcome standpoint. So uh, one clear uh, thing that we saw is uh, the conversion from a very simple container based system that we had to a Kubernetes based system, right? In which okay. there is an open source community which continuously gives you a lot of features. Right. So when Got we it. transferred from here to there, we clearly saw how our whole deployment and development process got sorted out right from writing code to linting it, then building it, then testing it, then deploying it. And that that also a canary deployment, not anything else. <laughs> right. And this whole, uh, you know, funnel got covered in a very elegant way. Right. Got so it. it made it easy for us to deploy systems. It also made it more transparent. Initial solutions that we were using were also container based, but they did not have that much transparency and that much, you know, coverage over the entire funnel of deployment. Right. This is, this is uh, one advantage that we saw. Well, uh, 
I think the major advantage for us has been the connection that we have uh, with the engineers in Google, right? Whenever we want to work on a certain problem statement, we find a certain library or a piece of code that has been written by Google, and we can immediately connect with the developer or engineer who is working on it, and then you know move forward, try to solve more problems for that. So that has become sure. very easy for us. So we have seen a change in the uh, in our confidence in building a really good system. Banu, I'd like to ask you about very specific experiences and benefits that you saw before and equally so after the migration. Uh, well, uh, first of all, uh, this was a big migration, right? Uh, roughly 60 million active users. I mean, not total users, 60 million active users. Uh, uh, we had, and there are a bunch of features that these users use. There's chat, there's feed, right? There's uh, content upload. There are comments, likes, so a bunch of features for 60 million users. It was a difficult task, but we had good enough modularity in our code to actually achieve it. And this is why it is important to have modularity in your code so that you can change basic assumptions about your system later on. Right. So because of this modularity, it was possible to do this kind of a migration. And it is definitely possible to do this. Obviously, you have to be aware of some issues that can come up related to inconsistency among database, but those are again solvable issues. So we actually made a plan to test out whether a system on the previous cloud provider works exactly as the system migrated to the GCP, right? And we spent months on making sure that they are consistent and there is no sure. uh, error uh, during uh, both systems being run simultaneously. Right. Sure. After ensuring this, then uh, you know migration was just a five-hour thing. So we we just increased the traffic. So we had one percent traffic on GCP, uh, ninety-nine uh, on the other provider, and then we just bumped from one to hundred, and the migration was over. And because we all had already spent a month in this split scenario where we had perfected all the inconsistencies that can be there, sure. so we were able to do this uh, do this cutover. And in fact, we saw improvement in performance and latency once we migrated to Google Cloud. Uh, we saw increase in cache hit ratio as well. Got it. Got it. And how has it been after the migration? Uh, any specific experiences that now that it's been a while for the migration? Well, after the migration, there are a bunch of problem segments that we are working on with Google, right? Uh, audio chat is one, right? Uh, sure. The same system uh, is performing better, but we continuously sure. build new features on top of it. And these new features Great. we are now building on GCP. And GCP Got is it. giving us a really nice, elegant ecosystem, right, in which you can quickly achieve your task, right? You can pick the right Got database, it. the right queuing system, Got right? If you are writing ML pipelines, there's TensorFlow for that, right? You can run it on GPUs and TPUs. You can do whatever you want very easily. Uh, the ease of use for us has increased, and that is allowing us to build stuff faster and safer. Got it. Look, Banu, um, I want to thank you. This has been um, a great conversation. I want to thank you for the partnership, your entire team for the partnership. And I look forward to a fabulous journey together between the two organizations. All the best. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Karan. Thanks a lot. It has it, The partnership has been great, and I look forward to doing more awesome stuff together. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Banu. Take care. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Thanks.